Okay, so I'm going to show how to take apart a uh, Samsung model NP510R5E-A02UB, um, also known as a 510R. So, um, first what you want to do is remove all the screws from the bottom. There's two hidden screws underneath the rubber feet here, so remove those. Um, so there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine screws that are visible on the bottom. Once you remove those nine screws, you can remove this cover. There's actually an arrow here showing how to remove it. So what you can do is you can grab here and here, or if that's too tough, um, if you have a pry tool or good nails, you can go between the edge here and pull on it. It'll come out like that. Once you do that, um, there's some more screws under here. So there's two screws here. There's four screws holding in the hard drive. And then there's another two screws here. So once you remove those, um, you want to remove the hard drive connector here. So there's actually a little edge here. Um, let's see if I can... So what you want to do is use your nails or a pry tool and kind of pull here. I already took it out, so it's kind of easy. But yeah, you'll want to pry these two sides up. And then you can pull this out. Um, if you can, try and get them both at the same time so you don't bend the little pins in there. So once you get that and you have the screws out, then you can take the hard drive out. There's a little pull tab here. Okay, just lift it out. So this one needs a screen replacement, so I'm going to show how you can open it to get to the battery just to discharge it. Okay. So once you get that, um, you want to pry this up. It's going to be tough. I already pried it out, but basically you'll get the pry tool in and then pull it like that, and you'll hear it pop. So you just go all the way around um, with the pry tool. When you get to these smaller areas, it'll be tough because the clips will be holding just on these small areas. So while you're pulling the, the edge here, you can like use the pry tool and pull on it and it'll pop that. And then just move along and pop the these small plastic bits. Um, if you don't remove them, you might um, crack the plastic here. So just be careful with that. Okay. So once you go around the sides, same thing with this side it has these smaller areas then to remove it you want to lift on the back and kind of like wobble it it'll be kind of tough but the clips will all come out okay so I did it in advance so it's easier just so I can do this with one hand while recording but um yeah so then the battery you can see here um, you remove it it will be plugged in here you can remove it just by kind of wiggling the back cables make sure not to pull too hard and uh, or you can damage these connectors but yeah if you wobble it it'll come out Okay, then you got the connectors here for the LEDs and also the um, uh, the trackpad. Okay. You got those, and then you got the RAM. Then you got the connector for the speakers, the connector for the LCD, uh, the display. You got the CMOS um, battery, and you got the um, keyboard connector. Then you got this separate USB port board with this cable here. You got the fan and the fan connector, wireless antennas, the wireless card, go up here. So if you need to remove the whole assembly for some reason, you can take these out. You'd have to take out this USB board because there's most likely a screw holding this lock mechanism in here. Alright, and as you can see, the CPU is soldered to the board just like all the other new ones. Okay, so the rest of it's all on one board. Okay, once you get that um, and disconnect the battery, um, as usual, you'll want to hold the power button just to drain any excess power. Okay. When the screen's actually broken. Okay. So to remove this, what you do is you kind of just get your fingernails underneath and pry it. Um, you can go all the way around and then also don't forget on the back hinges, it clips down here to where the hinges are. So make sure to unclip that. Um, once you go all the way around and unclip everything, then you can actually kind of wiggle this out. Let's see, I kind of want to have it open more. Just like that, okay. So make sure you can actually see all the clips on here. So there's clips in there, there's clips along the bottom here. Okay, you can see all the clips along the, around the top edges. All right. So just make sure um, you get all those clips out, and then after that you can remove that. Then you got the four screws um, holding the screens in, as usual. Make sure you drain the power again. Then you can flip this forward, 
and usually there's some tape yeah there's tape here so that I'll have to do off camera but basically you peel this tape and then you can pull this connector back all right make sure uh, when you put the new connector in that you're kind of careful because some people they damage this on the screen so make sure you're careful and make sure it connects all the way um, if you power it on without it connected all the way it can cause a spark and it can fry the um, the board the motherboard so yeah so that's pretty much it when you're done just put it all back together and you'll be good to go all right all right, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. All right, thanks. Bye.